Nadia Quadio is an Ivorian civil engineer. At only 30 years of age, he's the owner of Sino Ivor Construction Engineering Corporation, a company he founded in 2021. It's one of the few companies inspired by the Chinese construction model. It is very important to study the structural plans before carrying out a project. I have studied MIDA Civil, which allows you to design structures such as bridges and tunnels. I also studied PKPM, which allows you to design buildings. During my internship, I closely followed the behavior of the Chinese on site. I carefully observed the behavior of site managers, construction managers, and workers. Today, when I am on a building site, I do my best to apply everything I learned in China, culture, punctuality, rigor, expertise, and others. This has enabled us to achieve convincing results that are appreciated by our clients. Quadio learned his trade at Hoha University in Nanjing. After four years of studies, he graduated in 2012, mastering the art of drawing and design software and techniques. He then took a training course at a company in Nanjing before returning home to Côte d'Ivoire. Quadio's current project will see over 200 villas built in Bingaville on the outskirts of Abidjan. I work here with a property developer. It is a project to build more than 200 four- and five-bedroom duplex villas, including the model villa behind me. We are making good progress, with almost 50% of the work already completed. We hope to be able to deliver this project by the end of this year to earn even more credit from our customers. Once this project is completed, we will start another project of 300 duplex villas a few kilometers from here. By 2017, Côte d'Ivoire had a housing deficit of around 600,000 homes, particularly in the greater Abidjan area. That shortage is increasing by around 40,000 to 50,000 units annually. That's according to the International Finance Corporation. Some of the contributing factors for that include high rental prices, fast urbanization, and limited credit for households. The government has pledged to deliver more affordable, high-quality housing for people in the country. The Ivorian engineer is targeting Chinese companies and investors to help provide a practical solution to the housing crisis in his country. As a graduate of one of the best universities in China, I have the technical and practical knowledge of civil engineering to provide quality work. Some of my staff and I also speak Mandarin very well. We want to work with Chinese partners and investors to build the Africa of tomorrow. China and Côte d'Ivoire established diplomatic relations in 1983. Since then, Beijing has been giving Ivorian students scholarships to study in China. Upon their return to Côte d'Ivoire, they used their experience to develop their country. Given that human capital forms the cornerstone of Africa's development efforts, higher education will continue to play a critical role in those endeavors. And the lacks of Quadio approving that's the case. Chao Mgono, CGTN.